This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. For I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. We're here this evening, our youth revival service. I see it says program, but we are in worship service. Let everything David said that had breath, praise God. So we're here to praise the Lord today. We're, tonight, we're going to worship him in spirit and in truth. We'll begin with the devotion, Brother Don Smith. Uh, welcome. It's Sister Carly Anderson. Is she here? Okay, somebody else will. Okay, they have it covered. So all I've got to do is sit back and worship and enjoy. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Father God in heaven, we come this evening. 
thank you right now for all your bountiful blessings that have been shed upon us, Lord. You've been mighty good to us, Lord. But when I look back over this day, I see that you've been with me every step of the way, Lord. You're protecting me from hurt, harm, and danger. Allow me to go about, Lord. For a reasonable portion of health and strength, clothed in my right man. I thank you right now, Lord God, because we know because of your grace, because of your mercy, that we are not consumed. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being such a good God to us. Thank you most of all, Lord, for sending your Son Jesus in this world. Thank you, Lord, where He walked with us. We we handled Him with our own hands. Stayed him 33 years. Shed his innocent blood for the remission of my sins, for all our sins, Lord. And then submitted himself to the death of the cross. Buried in a borrowed tomb. Buried on the third day. He raised by the power of God. All power of heaven and earth be trusted in his hand. Thank you, Lord, because you raised up for my justification. That I may have a right to the tree of life. And I thank you right now. Lord. Now as you look down on us tonight, Lord. Yeah. Look down on the young people, Lord. Yeah. We're in a world, Lord, where we all need you. Yeah. But we know it's especially it's hard for young people, Lord. Because the devil to buy so many things for them. To try to take them away from you. But we know that you are a merciful God. Yes. And we know your word is true. Uh-huh. We know that one day. That the name of Jesus, yeah. every knee shall bow, yeah. and every tongue shall confess, yeah. Jesus is Lord of all to the glory of God. Uh-huh. So we thank you right now, Lord. And they should look down upon us, Lord, yeah. and pray, Lord God, to give the man of God word for us tonight. Yeah. Let him preach so that someone will fall out with the way to the world. Yeah. We're going to try and be a brother, what shall I do to be saved? Yeah. And we thank you right now for it, Lord God. We pray you give us traveling grace when we leave from this place. Yes. And when we leave here, Lord, give us more grace yes. that we may share it with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Amen. Amen. Give it honor to the Almighty God. Yes. I stand before you all tonight on this youth revival to welcome you to the great Vlad Chapel CME Church of the East. In the absence of the Bishop Thomas and I am Ella Bass, but I was most luckiest pastor, pastor William Cope. Yeah. The first thing I'm yeah. 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 I'm ready to work to the little church over here. Yeah. I come to work with you out here in the church of one, two, and three. I work with you once for the month. Yeah. I work with you twice for Jesus Christ. Yeah. I work with you three times with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. With yeah. So we welcome you. So cheering. On this revival night, y'all like to party, so here at Black Chapel, we will have Holy Ghost party. We welcome you. So come on with me. Come on with me. God, who is the head of my life. I, tonight I've been tasked with introducing the MC of the night. The lady I'm about to introduce is an active member of Blair's Chapel CME. She loves the Lord and her church family. She's a wife, mother, and grandmother. She's a proud graduate of JCM, and she will tell you she loves the green and gold. But that doesn't stop her from pouring love and support into all of the Southside students that she encounters. She is the assistant cheer coach for Southside. 
She drives the bus for the Southside basketball team and helps out wherever and whenever she can. She's my bus driver and my cousin. I introduce the song and present to others, Sister Rita Tiffin. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I just want to thank God who's the head of my life. Thank my cousin Dallas. I love him so much. But we are here today to celebrate our young people. And when these young people came up and talked to, I, I always want to call her Sister Sheila Godwin, but she knows who she is. But anyway, when they came up and wanted to do this, it was a go. Well, no question. It was a go. So a lot of us started working on it and, and to do this. You know, all our kids are not in the streets. Say it. Say it. All our kids are not in the streets. So before I start, if you have a child that you brought to churches in this choir, please stand up. Parents. Amen. If you are a student at Southside, JCM, West Bemis, South Elementary, North Parkway, if you uh, if any students in the Jackson Madison County School System is in the audience, please stand up. Amen. Now we about to get started on some songs. Let me tell y'all something. Now if you don't know Pastor Reed, you finna know him. Cause he gonna help us sing it. Not singing, singing. And once we get done singing, we are gonna have a prayer by our own Pastor William Cole. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. It's just another day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in. How y'all feel? Yeah. 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 Pastor, you don't mind if I be at, act like I'm at home? Okay, for a minute concerts and services here. And it's good to be back at Blair's, y'all. But, uh, Pastor Cole, God bless you. Uh, long time friend, thank God for you and your assignment here. And I know things are well. Pastor Curry, my friend, neighborhood, grow up, friend. Brother in the ministry, all of that good stuff. We're here for a good time. Yes, sir. All right, now before I get started, because once I get started, I, I, I can't remember much. <laughs> So my wife is here. Sheila, if you stand, please, darling. All right, y'all. That, that's the neck that make my head turn, okay? Y'all got it. All right, don't get it twisted. All right. Amen. My daughter is here as well, Rakila. Stand if you will. She's a teacher in all these things. Tough day, so but he's here. Okay, uh, any word of life people here? I don't want to look over anybody. We got friends everywhere around here, Amen. so we're gonna have a good time. Amen. Yes, sir. I said we're gonna have a good time. Yes. Yes. All right, y'all know how to put your hands together. Yes. Okay, let's make a little noise. Here. Curtis Mormon was saying, hey, I got more excitement than that than a bingo friend. <laughs> so listen here, anybody here love the Lord in here? Yeah. 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 I ain't got no senior citizens behind me, so y'all better open your mouth. Let yeah. everything that has breath. Somebody help me. 
we gonna praise the Lord. Hey, neighbor, you know, I might need a little room tonight. Because I might need my day. I, I don't know. We're gonna have a good time. We didn't come to entertain you, baby. We come to give God the praise. Yeah. We come to give God all the glory because somebody said He's worthy. Yeah. Oh, y'all quiet. We out in the country, y'all. He's worthy. Yeah. To be praised. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm thankful to have these wonderful musicians that join me and Barry uh, on the drums and Cameron on the bass and Rodney on the keys and. We just going to get it done, all right? Yeah. Amen. So now, since they, they're just leading, okay, so whatever part of the song you learn or you know, jump in there, okay? Yeah. All right, you ain't got to sit still. We're going to have a good time. Yeah. Amen. Y'all don't y'all, y'all remember Ivory T said, we're going to have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go, y'all. Yeah. 
God is on your side. I don't care what the government do. God is on my side. When y'all walk down them halls of the south side of the mall, y'all know we got some haters out there. Somebody say, God. Is on my side. Hold your head up high. The reason that we're here tonight is to understand that if there's any failure, it's not in God. If there's any failure, it's the man in the mirror. Yeah. What you say? I don't know about you, but I've come short. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So many times. Yes, I know you're sitting up in church looking all sanctimonious. Come on, come on, come but you, on. like I have, and had some evil thoughts yeah. to cross your mind. Yeah. But you hear tonight, but say, but through it all, yeah. Yeah. God has never failed me. Yes.
in me. The baby said, I come short. Let them know some grown folk done come short. Oh, y'all, y'all whispering right there. Let them know you come short. Not one time, but many times. You just at Walmart the other day. It was taking too long. Some thoughts crossed your mind. Y'all know, mm -hmm, we in church. Mm -hmm, some of y'all curse ain't even broke yet. I'll cuss a saint. But thank God for his grace and for his mercy. That keeps on keeping us over and over again. Amen. Thank you. Thank you once again for you, you. your loving kindness and your tender mercy. We thank you tonight, Lord, for able-bodied, sound-minded young people yes. that you have blessed our city and our school system with. I ask you, Lord, to just be with them. Perform counsel in their lives. Raise among us in this city. These young people, Lord, help them to have the faith of Daniel, David, Jeremiah, Peter and Paul, Phoebe, Elizabeth, Mary. Bless now, Lord. Whatever their endeavors may be, Lord, we just ask that you keep your arms, your loving arms all around them. So much peer pressure right now in this world. And all of the peer pressure is not in the school system. Some of it comes from some of us as older people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we're not teaching our children in the right way. Yeah. Lord, prick our hearts tonight. Yeah. That we may be an example. Yeah. As to the way in which they need to walk. Yeah. Pour out your spirit upon all of us. Yeah. Help us, Lord, that even during the times that, as Pastor Reed alluded to, that, we, that we're in the Walmart line and and, and, and feel like cussing sometimes. Yeah. Brighten our tongues, Lord. Those who may be enemies of the cross, Lord, we ask that you bless them as well. Bring them into our sight, Lord, that we may by our walk and by our talk and the way that we worship you and praise you and glorify you and magnify your name, that they may come running asking, what must I do to be saved? Go into each and every school, Lord. Touch our young people. Help them, Lord. We ask not only for these young people that are here tonight, but for the young people, even the ones with the sagging pants, the ones with the do-rags, the ones with tattoos all over their faces, the ones who, who call themselves gang-banging, the, the ones who don't have a father or a mother in the home. Bless now, Lord. As only you can. Lord, we, we dare not come into this church tonight and act like that we've been so perfect. But Lord, we have committed many a sin. But, but we got sense enough to know that thou art able to do all things. But Lord, we're grateful tonight that you cannot fail. And even though we fail you, Lord, your grace and your mercy continues to keep us. Lord, bless these young people. But Lord, while you're blessing them, while you're calling on them, don't pass us back. But we need you, Lord. Now more than ever. School shootings, people shooting up malls and people shooting up bowling alleys and, and people doing all kinds of things. Corruptness in Washington, D.C. Lord, we need you like never before. But we can still have joy. Because we are reminded that in your word you told us that in this world we'll have tribulations. But be of good cheer. Don't worry about it. Be of good cheer. For you've already overcome the world. Now bless as we continue in this worship service. These young people who are, who are lifting their voices to sing the songs of Zion, Lord. Continue to strengthen them along the way. Bless them like never before. 
individually and collectively. And we'll be ever so mindful, Lord, as to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. We're thankful for their leader, Pastor Reed. Continue to strengthen him along the way. And Lord, the preacher that's going to come tonight and, and break the bread with us, Lord, bless Pastor Curry. Crown his head with wisdom and knowledge. Let the anointing run down from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. That he may be able to tell the dying world the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Thank you, Lord. If we can't say a word, we can just wave our hands. In Jesus' name we pray. And for his sake. Amen. I told y'all. Yeah. Some singing right there. Yeah. Before we go any further, I would like for our Southside football coach and his players to stand. Southside football coach. This is our new Southside football coach. And I want y'all to keep that keep Southside football team in your prayers, the coach in your prayers. And coach, I don't want I can't say your name right, so I ain't gonna say it. I'm just gonna say coach. But I'm not good at saying names. But coach, if there's anything that you need Blair's Chapel Semi Church to do on behalf of our Pastor Cole, just give me a holler at Southside. Yeah. Also, my uh my friend slash brother slash whatever you want to call my big homie. Coach Damon Fuller. Yeah, yeah, you stand yeah. with your players. I think I seen them come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back -back basketball team. Yeah. Now y'all know basketball is coming up. We're gonna have to keep the balls in our prayers and keep our arms around them. Is there the coach from JCM here? Any of his players? Cheerleaders. Southside cheerleaders. Now we figure ready to calm down a little bit. Everybody can play a part.
Lord, we thank you right now for every gift. Thank you for every giver. Thank you for that person that had that desire. Bless the intent of their heart. God, let this offering be used for the lifting of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I would like for our, for our sit down, like to recognize our West Campus, the baddest campus at Southside High School, <laughs> the Crunk West Campus, our assistant principal. I always call him doctor, so that means something. I don't say it several times. <laughs> principal Bingham. Thank you. Amen. All right. All right. All right. So we finna sing. We finna sing two more songs. Two more. Okay, so then after we sing them two more songs, <laughs> we're going to get the uh, introduce another speaker. And uh, I'm done. Now these two numbers, y'all got to get up and move and do something. Can't be sitting there. We got, we, hey, we got to get the crowd hyped up when Pastor Kerry comes. He, all he got to do is preach. Amen. And the church said... Good evening. Good evening. Let the church say, man. Good it's night. truly been an amazing, amazing evening thus far. Let me not take away from it. Um, I am truly humble and, and, and glad to be here tonight um, to introduce your speaker. He is truly a man of God. Amen. Truly, truly a man of God. Um, I could go on and on and on, but just not about me. Uh, he is the husband of one wife, our first lady, Sharon Curry. He's the, the, the father of one son, Malik. Yeah. Um, he is my pastor. He is my mentor. He is my friend. I am proud to be the co-chairman of his deacon board. Yeah. So lest I bore you anymore, after the songs that you will hear from your choir will be your pastor. And I will say we save him the best to last. Reverend Reginald Curry from the Macedonian Baptist Church. Yeah. Amen. 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 Pastor Curry. Yes, sir. Amen. I don't know exactly how this is going to all go. Okay. But we're on the same team. Yeah. So somewhere in there you can fit in. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> we all in this together. That's man. right. So I just kind of I know what he brings. Amen. We thank God. We praise God for his gift. Yes, Lord. He can't just preach. He can sing too. Yes, Amen. Amen. Everybody know he can sing. He can show no sing. All right. But well, I told you earlier that the failure is not in God. If there's any failure, it's in us. Yes. Scripture teaches us to let your light so shine. That others might see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Y'all hear me what I'm saying? Somebody didn't let their light shine because there's some folk here because of. Thank God for my, my friends, both the coaches back there. Thank God for you. I think, was it yesterday we were singing? And y'all got carried away. They were talking about their little bosses were gone and everything. At the end, they were shouting out in the hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They making such a big noise, some football players heard it. Yeah. They came down to the classroom and wanted to see what the noise was about. Yeah, yeah. The same one that came down there yesterday, he is right now. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you can't be ashamed of the Lord. Can't do it. Can't do it. Now, once they got down there, you know, they were just a lot of guys that had fun, but then I had to let them sing a little bit. 
I tell you, we, we ain't playing now. We ain't playing no games. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Every day, I love the Lord. He looks here. And I'm trying to be a good example. But if, if there's any failure, it's not it's not in God. It's in Amen. us. But you know what? We're, we're, the reason we have struggle, we got to fix what's broken. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of broken folk. Yeah. Yeah. We're sitting in here tonight broke. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Broken hearted. Yes, yeah. sir. Broken pocket. Yes, yeah. sir. Broken relationship. Some of us just broke. Yeah. But the good news is, he can fix yeah. what is broke.
according to the power that worketh in us. What he's saying is, he wants to do it. He has a desire to do it. And he wants to do it through us. So I come to tell you tonight, there's nothing too hard for God. I wish I had a witness here tonight. I promise you, if you lay it at his feet, he can do better with it than you ever thought possible. So I dare you tonight, whatever your trouble may be, I dare you tonight to lay it at his feet. Believe it by faith. Because without faith, it's impossible to please. But the Bible says that he's a rewarder to those that diligently seek him. If you can believe tonight that he's able, I dare you to lay it at his feet and walk away like it's already done. In fact, I need somebody here tonight to go ahead and lay it at his feet right now. And then I need you to don't not stop there, but I need you to act like it's already done. I need somebody here that believes that God is able. I need somebody to believe tonight that it's already done. Whatever. Whatever.
It takes something. Yeah. Everybody, everybody can't work with Pastor Reed. <laughs> but you all did a wonderful job on tonight. Yeah. Wonderful job on tonight. And and listen, I'm I'm not gonna listen, this this train is rolling too well for me to mess it up now. But I come tonight to encourage each and every one of you here tonight, young and old. Uh, but we need to know. We need to understand and know that the God we serve yeah. has a heart yeah. for his people. Yeah. Young or old, yeah. he has a desire yeah. to prosper us, yeah. for us to live a life yeah. that would be pleasing unto him. Yeah. A joyous life, yeah. a peaceful life, yeah. a glorious life. Yeah. And you can have that tonight. Yeah. And when you leave here tonight, I want you to leave here believing that you can have whatever God says you can have. Oh, tonight it's about relationship. Tonight it's about being made whole. Tonight it's about having that personal relationship with the master. See, when you got a personal relationship with the master... You can come together and sing praises unto God. You don't worry about who's sitting next to you. So tonight, I come with some excitement. And I come tonight asking that y'all would participate just with me just for a moment. And if I can get just a few amen. Maybe one or two hallelujah. And, and if, if, if it looks like you're in an uncomfortable position right now, I want you to send the person sitting next to you an SOS. Tell them to screw over some and let you have some room. Because you come to lift up the name of Jesus on tonight. So if you're too close to somebody, send them an SOS and tell them, screw over some. There's a word tonight. There's a word tonight. There's a word tonight because I know the only way to encourage you tonight is to give you a word from the Lord. There's a word tonight that I hope will encourage you. And I need you young folks to back me up tonight. I back y'all up. And I help y'all out. 
I need y'all to help me out tonight. Can y'all help me out tonight? I heard five or six. Can I get everybody? Can y'all help me out tonight? Amen. Just because they help me out don't mean y'all can't help me out either. Because we came to lift up the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 17 is a familiar passage of scripture that I want to share with you tonight. That I hope will encourage your heart. And I hope you'll leave here tonight happier than when you came. I hope you were happy when you got here, but I hope you leave with just a little more energy, a little more encouragement, a little more fulfillment when you leave this place home tonight. Luke chapter 17. I want to look at verses 11 through 19. If you allow me to read the entire scenario, I would greatly appreciate it because we need not read part of it, but we need to read all of it. From the original King James Version of the Bible, Luke chapter 17, beginning with verse 11, reads these words. And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there he met ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering, saying, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Right. There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. Mm -hmm. And he said unto him, Arise, mm -hmm. and go thy way. Yeah. Thy faith yeah. hath made thee whole. Yeah. Yeah. Only useful thought tonight, just very briefly, if no one else will, yeah. uh -huh. I will. Yeah. No one else will, yeah. I will. Yes, sir. I come tonight, my brothers and sisters, because it's very important that you know Jesus uh, allows this particular scenario to get recorded by Dr. Luke that we may understand and know that Jesus is always yeah. available. Because yeah. the text tells us in the beginning that Jesus is passing by on his way uh, from Samar Samaria to Galilee, but he's, he's passing by. And in his passing by, it's helping us to understand tonight that Jesus is always available. Yeah. And in his availability, that creates for us opportunity. Yeah, yeah. You need to know tonight, if Jesus has made himself available, you have opportunity on tonight. Yeah. That means you don't have to sit with your arm folded like you sucking lemon, but you have an opportunity tonight to give God praise because he's already here. You ain't got to look for him. You ain't got to send him an SOS. You ain't got to send him an email, but God is already here. And if he's already here, that means you got opportunity. Don't let Jesus pass you by tonight, but take time tonight to give him thanksgiving for all of the blessings that he has bestowed upon you. If he woke you up this morning, don't pass this, uh, don't let this opportunity pass you by to tell him thank you for waking you up this morning. If you didn't tell him for wake, thank you for waking you up this morning, can you thank him just for being here on tonight? I come to tell you tonight, this is an opportunity in case you didn't tell him thank you. Tonight is a good night to tell God thank you. Is there anybody here thankful tonight? I come to share with you tonight, you have opportunity. Don't let this opportunity pass you by because you may not have this chance no more. Some of y'all waiting to shout on Sunday. Sunday might not get here. There ought to be somebody here tonight got a praise on the inside that can't wait till Sunday morning. There ought to be somebody here tonight that's got a thanksgiving in their spirit that just can't wait till Sunday morning. In fact, you need to get it out right now. So I'm going to give you about 30 seconds just to think back over your life. See how far God has brought you. Go ahead and give him praise right now. On the countdown is on. 20 more. 15. 10. Five, somebody ain't moved yet. Four, three, two. Oh, if you ain't gonna do it, I will. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 
you have opportunity. And if nobody else here tonight can be thankful, I couldn't tell you I'm thankful tonight. Because I could have been dead. Reverend, I should have been dead. But had it not been for his grace, I would have been dead. Ten years ago, I was laying flat on my back, didn't know where I was going to live or die. But here I am, 11 years later, and I'm still alive. Tell me, ain't God good? And I come to share with you tonight, you ain't got to look like what you've been through. You ain't got to look like what you're going through. But there's somebody here tonight that's going through some things right now. And I come to let you know Jesus is here tonight. And you ain't got to leave, you ain't got to leave here the same way you came. You have an opportunity to lay it at Jesus' feet. And the opportunity is right now. Jack says that Jesus made himself available because he passed by. You need to know that God is always available. Those who call upon his name. And the text says that this availability didn't come by accident. You need to know God does nothing by accident. Everything God does is intentional. So he passes by intentionally. Because there were some folks there that needed Jesus' help. And the Bible said that there were ten lepers who stood afar off. Now you need to know there's a reason why they're standing afar off. Because they are lepers. And so they were rendered ceremonially unclean. So that means everywhere that they went, if they came in contact with a person who was clean, they had to yell out, unclean, unclean. And if they were on the same side of the street as one who was clean, they had to get on the other side and yell, unclean, unclean. They were, they were cast out. But they weren't outcasts. I'm talking to somebody tonight that's been cast out and think you've been outcast. But I come to share with you tonight, you hadn't been outcast. you just been cast out. And being cast out is not a bad thing. Because sometimes God has to move us away from some things. Just so he can get our attention. I wish I had to. Not only he had to move some folks out your way. Just so he can get your attention. I wish I had somebody that had the experience losing somebody or losing some close friends that you thought were your friends, but you realized they were your enemies and they really was holding you back. And so God had to move them out your way so God could give you what he had for you. I need somebody to give glory to God tonight for the things that he moved out of the way, for those things that he cast out. And even if he had to cast you out, can you thank God for casting you out? Because he had a blessing on the way. Somebody need to give glory to God tonight. If you've been cast out, I come to tell you, if he cast you out, a blessing is on your way. Oh, go over and act like you already got it and tell God thank you. Yeah, they were cast out, but they weren't, they weren't outcasts. They had opportunity. Jesus was passing by. And even though they were on the outskirts of town, they heard that Jesus was passing by. And since they couldn't, since they couldn't get to him, since they couldn't put their hands on him, since they couldn't see him face to face, since they couldn't touch him with his hand, with their hands, they recognized they still had a voice. So the Bible says that even though they couldn't see him face to face, even though they couldn't shake, shake his hand, they recognized they still had a voice. Uh, even though they may not have been in, in, able to get into the city, they yet still had a voice to speak into the city. Y'all missing a place to shout there. Yeah, they may not have been able to do what everybody else was doing. But at least they still had a voice. And so the Bible says, with their voice. Now, I don't know what you got left. Maybe you ain't got a voice left. Maybe all you got is your hands. You need to wave them. If all you got is your hands, you need to wave those hands tonight. If all you got is your feet, you need to stomp your feet tonight. But if there's anybody here tonight that's got a voice, I need you to open up your mouth tonight. And let God know that you're here in this place tonight. And let God know that you appreciate him for everything he's done for us. Oh, I may not be able to sing like an angel. I, I may not be able to preach like Paul. Who am I talking to tonight? I may not be able to preach like the deacon, but I do have a voice. I can open up my mouth. So they couldn't get to it. But they had a mouth. And the Bible says that with their mouth, they cried out to God. Lord, have mercy on me. Oh, y'all, y'all need to understand what was going on at this time. They, they had an urgency that needed urgent attention. 
So they didn't have time to go through the soliloquies of a of a uh, 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 constituted prayer. You know the ones where they pray uh, from everlasting to everlasting, the one they pray from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They didn't have time for all of that because the text said Jesus was passing by. That means he wasn't going to always be where he was. He was passing by. So since he was passing by, they didn't have much time. So they didn't, have, they didn't go through all the introductions of a prayer. They just yelled out, Lord, have mercy. On me, and I'm talking to somebody tonight that don't know how to talk to the Lord, scared to call on the Lord, don't know what to say. If you don't know what to say, just say, Lord, Lord have mercy. And I guarantee you tonight, how many somebody here know you cried, Lord, have mercy before, and you know the Lord came to see about today. Anybody here that's ever cried, Lord, have mercy, and the Lord showed up, and when He showed up, somebody here tonight can be a witness that when He showed up, He showed up, showed out. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Which, which means they understood, they knew who he was. They gave him reverence. This, this title of Jesus and Master says that you can do what can't nobody else do. And I'm going to call you by, by your name because there's no other name that can do what your name is able to do. So they said, Jesus. They didn't say Reginald, they didn't say Curry, they didn't say Cole, they, they, they said Jesus. Because they recognized that was the only name by which healing might take place. I come to share with you tonight, you've been calling on so-and-so and sister so-and-so and brother so-and-so, so I've been calling on mom and daddy to fix your problem. And I come to tell you tonight, the only, by, only somebody that can fix your problem is Jesus. And I promise if you call on his name tonight, he'll fix whatever's broke. I wish I had a witness here. He'll fix whatever's broke, whatever's broken up in you. If you call on his name tonight, somebody tonight know he's able. Recognize that there was power in his name. So they lifted up their voice. Jesus, Master, have mercy on me. Bible says that Jesus heard their cry. Then made his attention towards them and says, listen, go. Go. And show yourself unto the priest. The only reason they would have to go to show themselves to the priest was that the priest is the only one that could render them ceremonially clean. They left there leprous. And Jesus says, go in your leprous condition and see the priest. Reader that don't make sense. Is that the same reader that, that took care of my little boy Malik 20 some years ago? The same reader. Good evening reader. Go and show yourself to the priest. Again, the only time you would show yourself to the priest is if you were cleansed. They are leaving their leprous to show themselves to the priest. So when they leave, they leave messed up. But they leave believing in the words of Jesus Christ. I come to share with you tonight, my brothers and sisters, your life may look gloomy. Things may look a little rough, but I promise you the only thing that can save, the only thing that can heal is the name of Jesus Christ. And if we go in Jesus' name, they, they left there in obedience. Somebody here tonight been looking for a blessing but don't want to obey. I come to tell you tonight, there's no blessing in disobedience. But every blessing comes by way of obedience. If you do what the Lord said do, blessings will come your way. In fact, he says, if you do what I tell you to do, he says, I'll open up windows of heaven. And I won't just give you blessings, but somebody been reading their Bible. He says, I'll pour blessings out. I don't know about y'all today, but I'd rather he something out there than just a hand it to me. I need, a, I need to act in obedience. So they leave in obedience because obedience brings about blessings. And the Bible says as they walk in obedience that, that they go believing on his word. And the Bible says that, that when they began to look at themselves 
they noticed that what was was no more. They began to walk so brush smith till they got happy. And they sang old, they sang song back in the day. I ain't always I don't always listen to Ira T. Uh, I do listen to other stuff. They, they, they began to, to do what they call walk it out. And so 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 the east side started walking it out, north side started walking it out, west side started walking it out, south side started walking it out. They just look at it, they start walking. I need somebody here today, so y'all missing the place, y'all laughing at me, but somebody needs, needs God to work a favor in your life, work a miracle in your life. And he told me to tell you tonight, if you want God to work a miracle in, miracle in your life, just get up and start walking it out. I see two or three, but I need somebody here that's really looking for God to really make a way in your life. He says, if you would just walk it out. I was there. North side walked it out. East side walked it out. West side walked it out. South side walked it out. While they were walking it out, the Bible says they looked and recognized that they were healed. And they kept on walking. Yeah, yeah, and nothing wrong with, 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 with keeping on walking, but, but, but it seemed like to me if the one that, that told you to go and see the priest it, it seemed like to me if he had already worked it out seemed like to me the least you could have done was go back and tell him thank you <laughs> I'm almost out of here I'm, I'm almost out of here but, but the Bible said this the Bible said that they began to walk in obedience and upon walking in obedience the Bible said they looked at their hands and as the old saint said their hands look new Look down at their feet. And their feet look new too. And the Bible said that they kept on walking. I need somebody tonight to just keep on walking. When storms rise. And when trouble wind blow. And when it seems like you can't make it another step. I encourage you tonight to keep on walking. Ain't the Lord alright? For the Bible said that they walked it right on out. And kept on walking. But the Bible said that there was one who looked at what God had done and was compelled in his spirit to go back and tell the Lord, thank you. And I wonder tonight, is there anybody here tonight that can think of one thing that God has done for you? If you can think of one thing that God done for you, you ought to be able to tell him thank you tonight. If you can't wave your hand, if you can't clap your hands, if you can't stop your feet, I need you to open up your mouth and with a loud voice, I need you to tell God, thank you. Ain't the Lord all right? For the Bible said that the one who saw that he was healed and went back to Jesus, the Bible said that he laid at Jesus' feet and began to worship. You want to see God work in your life. You need to learn how to worship because worship brings on the work of God. Get a witness here. If you worship God, he'll work it out for you. Won't he do it? Can I get a witness tonight? The Bible says he began to worship and Jesus looked down and noticed there were only one. But there were ten that come initially. And so he asked, where were the other nine? He couldn't speak for the other nine. But I could hear him in my sanctified mind. If no one else came back, I was coming back. If no one else was going to give you glory, I'm going to give you glory. I come to encourage you tonight. If nobody else in your house will praise God, can I get you to stand up tonight and testify that if nobody else praise God, I'm going to praise God because he's been too good to me for me to sit down on him now. He's brought me too far for me to sit down on him now. I'm going to praise God while I have a chance. Ain't the Lord all right? And the Bible said, I didn't say it, but the Bible says that not only did he heal the one, but the Bible said that he made him whole. Y'all don't miss that tonight. And he was a Samaritan. That 
means he wasn't supposed to be there, but he was there. He wasn't supposed to be near Jesus, but he was right there at the front of Jesus. And I'm talking to somebody tonight. Somebody told you you wasn't going to be nothing. You wasn't going to be there. You wasn't going to be this. And you wasn't going to be that. But I need somebody tonight to just open up your mouth and say, Here I am. with Jesus Christ he came back because not only did he want to be healed but he wanted to have a relationship with the one who healed him is there anybody here tonight that had a relationship with our Lord and Savior ain't he alright I'm glad tonight that my God my Savior your Lord loved us enough that one Friday evening on a hill they called Calvary took nails in his hand and ribbons in his feet spirit is signed and a crown of thorns on his brow and looked up toward heaven and said Father into your hand I commend my spirit I'm glad tonight I got somebody that looked beyond my fault and saw what I needed I needed salvation, and one Friday evening, he died, didn't he die, he died, I tell you, didn't he die, they took him down, and laid him in a bar and tomb, he stayed right there, till the sun refused to shine, stayed right there, till the moon dripped out and blew, stayed right there, till dead men got up out the grave, and started walking to the streets of Jerusalem. Stayed right there till the star came out of their silver sockets. What are you trying to say tonight? No matter how hard it may get, no matter how troubled you may be, you got to stay with the Lord. Because staying with the Lord, it will pay off. After a while, ain't the Lord all right? He stayed right there. Get somebody to say it right out Sunday morning. He got up and said, All power is in my hand. Do you know him? Do you know him tonight? Shout ye. Do you trust him tonight? Shout ye. If you know he's able tonight, shout ye. So much to be thankful for. Woke us up this morning. Started us on another day's journey. Young people, Jesus is giving you opportunity. Don't let us stubborn old folk stop you from using your gift. Glorify God. Don't be ashamed. Do what I told you to do earlier. Send them an SOS. Tell them to scoot over some. Because there are some young folks in here that's got to pray. Drive any young folk here tonight that's got to pray. When we old stubborn folk get in the way, send them an SOS. Tell them to scoot over some. But you got to praise as well. We all got something to be thankful for. Story I was told the other day, and I got to take my seat. Story I was told the other day. About a man who had everything. He had cars, houses, and land. In fact, the house that he lived in had a picket fence and it set up on a hill. Fifteen bedrooms, nine baths, eight car garage, plenty of land. One day, he and his family sitting at the kitchen table. And he noticed that his wife slumped over at the kitchen table. She died. No one was left but he and his son. And for years, 
he and his son lived right there on that farm. They worked together. He saw him grow up to be a fine young man. He never left his father's side. But one day, father looked out on the field, looked out on the barn and saw the son sitting on the tractor and he wasn't moving. He died. And the man was in such a low state that he wanted the Lord to call him home. But he stayed around for quite some time. But he always longed to be with his wife and his son. But one day he ultimately, the Lord called him home. But before he went home, he had established everything as far as his estate. So he had gotten with his lawyer and he's gotten all his business fixed. So he was ready to go whenever the Lord called him home. Ultimately, the Lord called him home one day. But there was going to be an auction for his estate. And everything had been laid out and set in order. He had given the instructions to, to his attorney. And on the 15th day of March, whatever year that was, they had an auction for all that the father had. And they were going to auction them off at the courthouse that day. And so people from miles around knew the man and knew he had everything. And so all the town folk and all the folks in neighboring counties came to be a part of this estate auction because they wanted everything that that man had. Because he had, I told you, he had everything. They wanted some of what he had. And so when the, that, the day come for the auction, uh, the attorney got up, hit the gavel and said, this auction of brother so-and-so's estate is now in session. He said, I've been given specific instruction as to how the bidding will go today for all that he has. He says, in the first item that he told me to auction off is this picture. He held up the picture. It didn't look like nothing. Nobody wanted to bid on it. In fact, they were waiting because they saw all the cars lined up. They, they saw the deeds to all the property that he had. And, and crowds of folks sitting out there. They mad because won't nobody bid on this picture. He says, I need to let you know I cannot go further in the bidding process. And with all the rest that we have, I have to have somebody to bid on this picture. That was an old man Sat in the back Didn't look like he had very much Didn't look like he took a bath that day Clothes were ragged He says I'll bid on it He says what do you bid He says I'll bid X amount of dollars He says well come on up and get, get your bid So we can move forward So he come on up Got the picture The attorney whispered in his ear the old man looked at the picture and turned it on the back. What you said? Ran down the aisle, jumping and screaming. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. He's just running and jumping. Folks were looking at him like he'd lost his mind. Because all he got was a picture. But on the back of that picture was a note written by the father. And on that note behind that picture, it was a picture of the father's son. And what was written on the note was whoever would decide to take the son can have everything that I have. That, that, that's, that's the way God is with us. If we can just accept his son tonight, we can have everything that the father has. You, you, you want what the father, but don't you know that our father is rich in houses and land and you can have it tonight, but you first got to accept his son. I need you to do that tonight. There may be somebody here tonight that does not know Christ in the pardon of their sin. And I would not leave here tonight without introducing you and welcoming you to this family. If you tonight can believe that Jesus died and rose again, if you can believe that he still lives, you can receive salvation tonight. If you can believe that he died for your sin and that he rose the third day and that he still lives. I want to extend an invitation for you to come to Christ tonight. And don't you know if you can come to Christ tonight, you can have everything that God has. It's available to you tonight. If you're here tonight, won't you come? Listen, if you're scared, if nobody else will come with you, I'll come. If nobody else will come, I'll come and I'll, I'll come and I'll walk with you. If you're scared to walk, just, just raise your hand. Look at me funny and maybe I'll know it's you and I'll come get you.
These babies ain't the only one need prayer, y'all. We all need it. I know it's not easy. School ain't changed much. Just got a little, little, little tougher. But there's peer pressure. Classes get harder. Expectations get a little higher. And everybody counting on you to do it the right way. And it's hard sometimes. They're expecting you to get an A and really right now a B is about the best you can do. But you strive. It seems like the more you strive, the harder it gets. I just want to encourage you tonight to keep striving. A winner never quits. And a quitter never wins. I'm looking at winners tonight. I'm looking at winners tonight. So if I'm looking at winners tonight, you need to know quitting is not an option. You can't quit now. Because I'm looking at winners tonight. Every one of you are winners tonight. I see winners tonight. If you can believe it. The rest of this school year. I know it's still there. The rest of this school year, it's going to be unbelievable for each and every one of you. And not in a negative way, but in a positive way. You're going to make a difference. Some of you are going to make a difference on the football field. Some of you are going to make a difference in the classroom. Some of you are going to make a difference on the basketball court. Some of you are going to make a difference on the bus ride to the ball game. You, you, I'm looking at some folks that's going to make a difference in somebody else's life. That, that means you, you have a responsibility. So I'm, I'm holding you accountable tonight. That when the road gets rough, that you won't give up. But you'll get in touch with God and see what he says about it. Will you do that for me? I won't give up. I'll see what God has to say about it. Let us pray. Oh, Lord, our Lord, we come tonight thanking you for the privilege of prayer. Thank you that we can call on you, Lord. And by faith, we believe that you're a prayer answering God. We need you tonight because our children are having a rough time. And you never told us that life was going to be easy. Help them to understand that the road is not going to be easy. But Lord, help them to know and believe in their heart that your word is true. For you say that you would never leave us nor forsake us. So in their roughest moment, Lord, go with them. Stand by them hold them up and when they get weak along the way in your still small voice speak to their hearts and give them a listening ear to hear what you have to say when they feel like giving up Lord be their strength I know you can I've seen you do it you ain't come you ain't bossed this far to leave us now. Hold these babies. Strengthen these babies. Give them some joy. Give them some peace. In their homes. In their school. Some of them on their jobs. Give them some peace. The peace that surpasses all understanding. And give them the confidence. To call on your name. And not be ashamed, but call you when they need you. And not only when they need you, but give them the connection and give them the love that they will just call you 
just to tell you thank you. Do that for them right now. Not only these children, but we all stand in the need of prayer. We all stand in the need of a blessing. We all need a healing. Send your healing power tonight. All over this place. Give us strength. And when we feel like throwing in the towel. Because we all feel that way sometimes. Because life happens to us all. But as life happens to us. Give us the courage. To run on a little while longer. See what the end going to be. When we've done a service task. There's no more sign to our hand to do. Lord, I pray that you'll meet us. See us safely home. This is our prayer tonight. That we ask in Jesus' name. We give you the praise tonight. We're going to leave this altar tonight. The same way the lepers left you when you said go to see the priest. We're going to leave here rejoicing. We're going to leave here walking it out like it's already done. And give you the praise. In Jesus name. Amen. Y'all tell him thank you. Y'all go and tell him thank you. Love y'all tonight. Love y'all. such a time as this. We appreciate that. We sat down and we met and we talked about Sister Rita right here. I said, you need some folk in front of these young folk that the young folk already appreciate. Somebody they already love. Somebody that always show up for them. Somebody that's going to always tell them the truth whether you like it or not. These are outstanding young people. Yes, yes, yes. Pastor Curry, the man for the hour. That's what we need. Yeah. Listen, ain't nothing special about me other than I believe in young folk. Yeah. And if you believe in young folk, you'll find yourself where young folk go. Yeah. I find myself in home football games, away football games, home basketball, volleyball, whatever they do, I'm showing up for children. And I don't know, you ain't got to say a lot, just be there. That's it. And we're here tonight. Listen, this is just one thing that I've wanted for a while before I leave Southside. I want a gospel choir. <laughs> I, I, I'm no playing, playing no games. Listen here. You know, we got enough talent to uh, to record, to make our voices known all over this doggone country. Yes, Lord. We got the ca caliber of musician. We got everything, all the pieces out there. Amen. Amen. We just need the heart of those that say, hey, I'm with you. Yeah. 
I'm still working on it. Yeah. They are work in progress. They think my room is their home. They will eat my food, drink my drink, take my candy. Won't clean up behind themselves just like they really at home. It's been good. This is Pastor, uh, Pastor Cole. We, man, I didn't know you were here, man. You my friend. I, man. It's been a while because COVID just threw all of us off. But man, that's a dynamic man. Yes, he He's been a good man all his yes. life. Yes. I wasn't going to go there. I'm going to let that go. He, he said he's from Brownsville. Yes. I, I ain't gonna send who else from Brownville. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna tell you Pastor Curry from Brownville. I ain't, I ain't gonna tell you that. I'd just be wrong to tell y'all that I'm from Brownsville, so I ain't gonna tell you that I'm from Brownsville. I, that, that bass player over there, I ain't gonna tell you he's from Brownsville. Yeah. I, 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 I refuse to tell you that he's from Brownsville. Or the drummer, or the keyboard player. But I tell you, when I came to Southside, my first four concert, first four years, Every time I had a concert, that young man was playing bass for me. And he was in high school in Haywood, but he came and he played, and he's still a part of it. That's Cameron Beasley. He's the man, y'all, for sure, for sure. God has blessed him tremendously on keys. He's part of Southside. He just never went to Southside. But he plays at my camps during the last two years. For the last two years, this is Rodney. Rodney Richardson on keys over here. Rodney just a sophomore, but he is a gifted young man. Hey Amen. The only newcomer over there, you know, over there, Houston over there. He's the only one that ain't been a part of Southside. He's not here part. So welcome to the family, boy. good words yes, because they want to do it. so it is good to have young people that want to do it. let it best stay let the church say He just does stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Let us bow our heads. Eternal Father, we come to ask this. Angel Jesus, we come to thank you for another day's journey. Thank you for the assembling of the saints. Thank you for every heart of every young person. God, thank you for touching their minds and giving them a mind that just want to be in worship. Thank you for people to bring them, take them home. God, just continue to bless, continue to keep, Lord, like only you can do. And may we never be the same, God, because we came this way. Bless Pastor Curry and his congregation, his family, God, just in a special manner. He's inspired and set us all on fire. God bless us that we leave this place and never be your presence. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to present your fathers before his presence with exceeding great joy. To the only wise God be dominion, majesty, and power, both now and forever. And the church said, Amen. 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 And thank God. Listen, there's more food in the back, so if you didn't get a chance to eat, go straight to the back and there's some food to take with you. God bless.